Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Getting straight into it as always, I'm just taking the Benefit Professional and just using that around her nose and textured areas of the face and then going in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer all over the rest of her face. Then to add a little bit of glow, I'm going in with the Iconic. These are just like illuminating drops and I'm just placing that all over the face as well, just underneath the foundation. And then the foundation I used was the Tarte Amazonian Clay in the shade Tan Sand and just dotting that on her face first and then blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Then taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light, I had to think about that for a second because I thought I used the Tarte one, um, and just placing that underneath her eyes and then I go ahead to place it on her forehead, bridge of her nose, Cupid's bow and a bit on her chin as well and then blending it out with the Damp Beauty Blender too. Then taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just using that to bake underneath her eyes. Then taking the MAC, I think this is, yeah, mineralized skin finish in medium tan and just using that to set the rest of her face. Now I'm just priming the eyelids, just using that same concealer and blending it out. And then I go into eyebrows and taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette. And I'm taking the shade Soft Brown and just using that to fill in her brows. Then taking the same concealer as before and just using that to define the brows just with a concealer brush. Then I'm just wiping away the excess powder from underneath her eyes from the bake. And then onto eyes, I'm using the Too Faced, one of the holiday edition palettes. So first up, I'm going in with Tiramisu, which was just in the middle row on the left. It kind of looks like creme brulee, just a really pretty transition color and just buffing that into the crease. Then going in with this shade from Makeup Geek. I can't remember it from the top of my head, but I'll definitely leave it listed down below. It's like a 
really deep purple. It's so, so pretty. Um, and I'm just basically working that on the outer edges and slowly building up the color. Then just taking an angled wedge with some translucent powder and I'm just cleaning up the eyeshadow and then taking this shade out of the same palette and just using that to highlight her inner corners and brow bone. Then I'm just taking that same purpley shade that I will list down below because I can't remember it and just using that on her lower lash line. And then I just take a really like narrow brush and really work that into the lower lash line and then blend it out with a larger fluffier brush. She actually had eyelash extensions on, so what I just did was drenched the um, disposable mascara on with just a little bit of water and just removed any of the excess powder that may have dropped off on the lashes, but I did add mascara on the bottom. So there's absolutely no mascara on the eyelash extensions just because I didn't want to ruin them, obviously. And some people do, like, don't mind if I do, but she didn't want me to, so that's fine. And then I'm using the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer to bronze up her face. I didn't really want to heavily contour. I wanted it more of, like, a bronzy, glowy sort of complexion. So, yeah, I'm just placing that on her cheekbone area, around her forehead, jawline, and down the sides of her nose. And then just to add a little bit of definition in the cheeks, I baked underneath her cheekbone. So I just used the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Then for blush, I'm taking the Too Faced Sweet Peach Blush. It's the new one and it's so, so pretty. It's pretty much like a highlighter and a blush in one. As you can see, it's super glowy. I love it. And then the highlighter I use is also from the new Sweet Peach collection. And it is like a peachy sort of toned highlighter, which I loved. I loved it. So I'm just applying that on her cheekbones and Cupid's bow and then on the tip of her nose as well. For lip liner, I use the Dried Cosmetics Nude, um, and I need to order more because this is running so low, and it's so hard to line someone's lips when the pencil's so small. Anyways, um, and then for lips, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette, actually, and I used the Coral Shade from there. It's so pretty, and then I just topped it off with a gloss. And then to set, I just use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is the final look done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching once again. And please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.